And while it may not feel especially warm today, even we're having an unseasonably warm winter this last week of December. Absolutely. Temperatures are going to remain above average as we head into 2024 as well. And I wanted to point out Ginger is one of my inspirations and she did a lot of climate research. It seems as though every month has been the warmest ever on record from June to November this past year globally annually. So it's been a very warm year this 2023. And since we normally see the strongest fingerprints on our climate from El Nino as we go past its peak, since it's peaking right about now, 2024 may be even warmer than 2023 was. So we might be uh, enduring some extreme heat waves as we go into the summer of 2024. All right, here's what it currently looks like on our radar. You can see there are some showers still pushing through portions of the region. They're mostly light in nature. They're more like mist and fog. And as we go through the evening hours, they'll start to dissipate further. They're already starting to lose some of their steam. But the reason that we're seeing so much shower activity over the past two days is because we're stuck between these two low pressure systems. This one's funneling air over the lakes. That's causing condensation over the lakes and bringing clouds into our region. And and this one's funneling air from the ocean. Same reason, bringing clouds over our area. So we're getting these two different uh, low pressure systems pushing warm, moist air into our atmosphere. And that's what's causing those cloudy skies across the region for the past three days. Here are our temperatures above average. Like Lisa said, 47 in Williamsport, 47 in Danville, 46 in Bloomsburg. For context, normally around this time of year, we should be hitting 37 as a high temperature. We haven't seen 37 in over 48 hours, never mind in the past 24. So it's been a very mild past two days, if not even three days. And today is no exception, hitting high temperatures so far, 49 in Williamsport, 47 in Avoca, and 50 in Sealands Grove and Allentown. We have been seeing some wind gusts. It has been gusty from time to time, 15 mile per hour wind speeds. Those are sustained winds in Williamsport, 13 miles an hour in Mount Pocono. We've already seen some significant rainfall, about 15 one hundredths of an inch there in Wilkes-Barre Square International Airport, and about one one hundredth in Williamsport because of all that light precipitation. Over the next 24 hours, we will see snow flurries push in for Saturday morning. They will be minimal accumulations for most because, of course, we remain warm over the past few days, so those surfaces aren't cold enough for things to stick, except for those higher elevations in the Poconos. And some flurries will be possible even on the wee hours of 2024. All right, let me time everything out for you. We'll continue to see those foggy, muggy conditions as we go through the evening hours. And then around midnight, that's when those flurries start to develop in our northern tier. Their lake effect enhance. They'll start to inch their way into the northern tier, and then they'll push their way throughout the entirety of central and northeastern Pennsylvania. By sunrise, we'll be seeing widespread flurries. They'll be wet flakes because it'll be right around freezing. So we'll see those big flakes in the air, but they won't end up sticking for a lot of us. And by noontime, those flurries will start to dissipate. We might even see some breaks of sunshine around sunset. And then for Sunday, this is New Year's Eve, we'll also see cloudy conditions for the most part. We could see another round of flurries Sunday night, this is New Year's Eve night. Maybe while the ball drops at midnight, we might see some flurries out. That might be quite, quite magical for some of you. And then as we go through the morning hours on Monday, we could see an additional round of snow flurries. So how much rain will we see? Maybe another tenth of an inch of rain. How much snow could we see in our northern tier? Maybe a coating down through the Poconos as well. I wanted to also get in the dog walking forecast. This is Sheena. Thanks, Angela, for sending this in. Just a yellow paw because you should bring that umbrella in case you get caught in a little bit of a sprinkle. But otherwise, looks nice and warm to walk your pup. Here's your seven day forecast looking like this. 43 for tomorrow, so cooler than it was today, but still above average. Remember high is average high is 37 AM snow flurries. Those will push out. We might see some sunshine in the afternoon. And then for the last day of 2023, Lisa Sunday temperatures are going to be once again above average and maybe even a snow flurry or two by midnight. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, I think so too. To be able to watch the ball drop or the blueberry drop or the, I know there's a baloney drop as well. Oh, yes. It'll be nice with the snow flurries out and about to kiss your loved one under. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. We all 